It's crazy to think about how many videos I made using machine over the years, even down to having a whole entire machine course. Machine is great. I actually have it right here, but I think it's time that I'm switching to Logic. And that doesn't mean that this is going anywhere. Let's not get it twisted. This is still my favorite tool to make music with, but at this point in time, I am actually focusing on using Logic and I'm gonna get into why that is here in this video. So if you're new to the channel, you might be like, what is this guy talking about? He just posted a machine beat making video the other day and he's still posting them. Yes, that is because I'm not done with the machine. However, I am focused more on making beats inside of Logic. It's just something about the workflow at this point in time that's working for me. And the other thing that was a key factor in that was the fact that the new Control S61 from Native Instruments, which is basically the complete control keyboard, the newer version, does not work inside the machine software. So I was using the older keyboard for the past maybe six months just because I wanted to continue to work with machine. Well, fast forward to now, for some reason, the keyboard started tripping out. It still works, but it doesn't work the way it kind of just throws things off. I'll put it that way. When I'm trying to create, it does little things that throw off the process. So at this point, I have this new keyboard and I'm like, let me go ahead and set this up. And I set it up. Still doesn't work with machine months later. Don't know if it will work with machine. But from that, I decided to go ahead and open up Logic. Now with Logic, I can run machine as a plugin and use this, but it to me, I'm not somebody that enjoys the process of using machine as a plugin. I enjoy using the software alone. When I'm using it as a plugin, it just doesn't it just it just doesn't work for me. Let me put it that way. It just does not work the way I want it to work. So what I've been doing is just using Logic and the complete control software so I can have complete control. And I didn't mean it like that, no pun, but so I can have complete control over the keyboard and the sounds that I'm using. And the keyboard works great with Logic. I actually have a video discussing my thoughts on the keyboard. Here we are eight months later. And when I use it with Logic, it's perfect. No problems. The complete control software runs good. I'm able to pick my chords, scales. If I want to have the keyboard mapped or if I want to use easy mode, controls everything great. It's a great tool to have. So being that I actually wanted to use it, I'm starting to use the keys more. If you watch my other videos, when I make beats using machine, I'm literally using these pads to play the keys, the drums, pads, leads, anything that's going in the beat. Nine times out of 10, I'm doing it right here and not using my keyboard. But now that I'm focused on using the keyboard, it's like it flip flopped. So I'm sitting down now, actually opening up, trying to learn a little bit of piano a little bit and just playing around, learning the scales, having fun with it. And that's also pushing my creativity when I'm actually creating beats. So outside of those things, why did I switch to Logic? Well, if you know me or you've watched my channel for years, I've always went back and forth. Machine was just more effective for me and what I wanted to do. It was easier to knock out my ideas quicker because for example, the machine browser is great. The Logic browser, trash. Trying to find my samples, at least from the way I do it, I'm sure there's other ways of doing it. I may not even have dived into all of that, but the way to go through the file management and all that is not, fun like it's not fun for me to get my sounds i literally have logic up on this monitor that you see right there and i have machine pulled up on my laptop and i will go through the sounds in the machine drag them to logic and then have them replace whatever drum sound i was using at the time that's how much i don't like the logic sound browser now there may be a way to fix it but it just maybe i just don't know it yet my journey with logic started out way back in like 20. 13, 2014, somewhere around there. I used to make my beats inside of FL Studio. Then I made the switch to machine. I just didn't like mixing my beats in machine because at the time, man, that mixer was horrible. <laughs> I didn't think, I didn't know how to work it. I mean, I knew how to work it, but I just couldn't get the results that I was getting from FL Studio. At that time, FL Studio did not work on Mac and I had a Mac computer. So I was just trying to upgrade. I eventually bought Logic just specifically for mixing my beats that's all it was 
and that's what it was for years for me even now i'll make my beats and machine export them to logic i already have my template i have what i want where i want i mix my beats tweak a few things here and there and i'm done and then over the years i dabbled into making beats with it it just wasn't so much fun to me because i'm more hands-on when it came to making beats so the machine was perfect but eventually i started to play around with it and learned how to make the beats arranging and different effects and things of that nature automation and it's easier for me to do it that way to where i can control everything and that's part of the reason why i dived into logic and with the recent update to logic they added some new ai features to it where you have a drummer a keyboard player a bass player and even though i may not use it it's still cool to have i only used it probably like two or three times and it was it was cool to get some ideas with but i don't see myself using it but it's just the fact that it was a new feature for me to play around with it opened up the door for me to come back over to logic and see what's going on now a big difference between machine and logic would be the sampler because inside of logic now they have stem separation the stem separation works great i've used it plenty of times just having fun just dropping stuff in there and taking the vocals out like making a remix type thing it's it's, it's a lot of fun machine doesn't have that currently but for me i used serato sample anyway when i was using machine or logic so I've had some stem separation, but I still feel like the one inside of Logic works better than Serato Sample to me. That's just my opinion. It could change, but I still feel like Serato Sample is the best sampler of them all. I'm just going to throw that out there. Another feature that I love about Logic is the drum sequencer. It kind of looks similar to FL Studio drum sequencer. I could just go in and place my hi-hats, claps, drums, whatever I want to place, I can go through and place it. It's real easy. If I want to replace sounds, like I mentioned, I do with machine. Like I take the sounds out of machine, I drag them over to the drum sequencer. Man, that thing works so smooth. I have so much fun with it. It's probably my favorite. I've used the FL Studio one years and years ago, but that is another thing that they have that's great because sometimes when i'm on machine i do come up with the exact same patterns because you know muscle memory i push this push that like do it like that if i'm clicking the stuff in it just i can come up with something random just to see what it sounds like and it may sound good may not sound good and overall it just works better for me like i mentioned i got into logic in the first place specifically to mix my beats so usually my process was I might make 10, 15 beats with machine, have a folder filled of beats. Now I got to go mix each individual beat and that just became a headache. Now I mix as I go along for the most part or once I get everything pretty much how I want it, I go and mix it instead of having to save it for later to mix. And one thing that you guys could let me know if you're interested in seeing would be how I have the machine sessions, which are videos of me making beats with machine. If you want to see some logic sessions, I just have to figure out how I'm going to set it up. You guys let me know that in the comments below because I am using logic. I'm enjoying it. I don't mind still doing the machine sessions because I have a lot of fun with machine still to this day. It's still a great tool to make beats with. Let's not get it twisted. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see that or if you want to see more logic videos. I could talk about my whole logic process, honestly. Appreciate y'all tuning in out there. Please subscribe. Take care. If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video.